So very simply, as you probably read by now, it's low in sodium, which is good. Sucrose is low, carbohydrates are low, and et cetera. We now know that that fiber is important. There's been great human pharmacokinetic study done by Texas A&M, University of Florida, University of Tennessee, and this has all been shown, and it's showing again and again, do not clarify, do not filter this material, leave it alone, leave it the way nature intended it, and that's exactly what Mona V is doing. And I thank Jeff Graham in particular, because Jeff and I have worked, he's the product development vice president for Mona V, and Jeff has always cared about quality. You know, he'll call and say, Alex, if we do this to the acai or to this product, how will it in any way compromise things? And he cares about that, and I really appreciate working with Jeff for that reason. Now, another thing is with leukotrienes. We've been finding out that it lowers the leukotriene levels, and we know this is profoundly affected because leukotriene plays a major role in the numerous pathological conditions, and as a result, we know it increases the destruction of these free radicals. So again, good stuff home. So the take-home message is acai has high superoxide scavenging capacity. That explains how it reduces inflammation. So we're getting closer and closer to fully understanding the mechanism of how it works. Now, we ask two questions. Does Mona V juice, which you're selling to people, does it really make a difference in healthy adults? Are the antioxidants in Mona V absorbed? Do they actually enter into circulation? Do they get into cells? Do they protect cells during oxidative stress? So before we do these studies, we have to know the product is safe. And I want you to again understand, most companies don't do safety studies. They just say, hey, it's a food, why do we have to do any research? But Mona V has really been committed to doing science on its products. Just to show you many of the studies, and I'm also pleased to announce, because we just got the results from the laboratory, we've just finished a study in where we looked at the equivalent of people taking far more bottles than you could ever consume every single day. And we looked at that in terms of 1.5 years of chronic subacute intake, and we have found zero negative uh, results. Zero. <laughs> zero. That combined, that combined with experimental scientific research which has shown no mitogenicity, no mutagenicity, no cytotoxicity, no clastrogenicity, and no toxicity of Monavi juice, that you have a product that is safe. And this will allow us, that evidence, to go into institutional review boards for human experimentation, show them this product has minimal to zero risk for subjects regardless of the conditions they have, and that we can then go ahead and do good clinical trials on that, as we are already doing. So the safety studies are really important, and we'll be publishing all of this. Very quickly, because I've got to get off the stage, and I want to do this quickly, we have done human trials. We started with an open-label trial. We found that within an hour, in 80% of the people, it raised antioxidant levels, but within two hours, it raised it for everybody. We found out that four ounces of this juice not only s increased antioxidant levels, but it also inhibited lipid peroxidation, which is involved in so much of the cardiovascular disease that we have. And then we did a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled crossover study, which has also been published in 2008, and we saw the same thing there. The results were profound. Again, these are the kind of convincing pieces of evidence that groups like the National Institutes of Health like to see. Good, solid science published in good peer-reviewed journals. Okay, so now that we have those, we did a range of motion study. In the range of motion study, we're simply taking people from 44 to 84 years old who have limited range of motion for a lot of reasons. Some of them, for example, have osteoarthritis. And we just simply said to these volunteers, would you like to drink this juice every single day as directed on the label twice a day? And could we monitor what would happen? We did this trial. These results were published in May in alternative therapies. <laughs> So that's what we're looking for, you know, can we improve it? This is my lay version. And what we saw, at first pain went up because people's range of motion improved, so they started doing more things. They started grabbing, uh, let's say, weeds in the yard they'd never touched before. They reached for things in the cupboard they had been afraid to touch because it would hurt their, their shoulder or their back or their knee or something. And within the end of the study in 12 weeks, the entire group's range of motion had improved statistically significant at a P.001 level. So we knew this wasn't just due to chance. 
and pain had gone down too. So, of course, all of them said, I don't know what we've been drinking, but can we get more of this? So this is very exciting. So there are those results. <laughs> we've, studied, we've studied Pulse as well. Pulse has turned out to be a very exciting product as well. What's really interesting with Pulse is that we have things um, which we have to study in humans called their genetic type or genotype. And that is certain people are much greater risk of cardiovascular disease than others. So we're very, very interested in understanding what this is all about. And so in this study, what we did, and remember, these are all independent studies. We commission them. We don't control them. We let the scientists do the work. They give us the results. We don't control the publication. If it's negative, they'll publish it. Positive, they'll publish it. We don't try to do anything in that area. And what happened next was that we found that Pulse actually reduced the risk of cardiovascular markers associated with those high-risk groups. And I know you don't, when you get a blood test, have your doctor do phenotype testing. You probably should, because you could be at high, moderate, or low risk. But many people are at moderate, high risk, and that is probably why we're hearing from people who are saying, boy, after a month or two, my cholesterol levels are coming down, my other cardiovascular markers, my fibrolytic activities improved, all of these good things on pulse as well. So the results of the PULP study we published, those were done in May. We have a second paper. The manuscript is now nearly finished. We're sending that to another peer-reviewed journal to get into more details on the impact of this study. There's also been studies that have been done on coronary arteries that show acai protects them. This was done at Indiana University. I want to acknowledge that I don't do this by myself. I do this with lots of other researchers and scientists at many institutions. This is just a few of them that I can put on to one slide. You can see some of the institutions listed. You see the people that do the work. They are a great group of people. All of you probably would like to have the research, these published papers. This is the address you can go to. If you go to that URL, it will take you right to all of these research papers. You can download them. We've made arrangements with all of these prominent journals that these papers can be printed for free because in the past you would have to pay $30 per copy to get these. These are free. There is no charge, so you do not violate copyright protection concerns, okay? Take those, put them in your binder, take them to your meeting, show it to people who want to see the science. And I've written a book. You have it here. This was revised this year. You have this book available here. I'd be glad to answer any questions that you have. I love hearing from people. Tell me the good, the bad. I love understanding the experiences you and your con consumers, your distributors are having with this product. It really helps us in research to know the areas that we want to study most because we want to do what you're doing, which is to help people. And again, I say thank you to Mona V. Thank you to Dallin Larson. Thank you to your team, your founders, to Henry, to Randy, Jeff Graham. Thank you very much. And lastly, thank you to all of you. You make the difference. Thank you. Thank you.